Hello and welcome to the Maths 2 component of the online BSc degree on data science. In today's video, we are going to look at Kramer's rule, which employs the determinant in order to find the solutions of a system of linear equations when the coefficient matrix is invertible. Let us go on and uh, do an example. So, let us look at this linear system. So, 4 x 1 minus 3 x 2 is 11 and 6 x 1 plus 5 x 2 is 7. So, let us recall what was the matrix representation. So, that is A x is B. So, the matrix A is given by the coefficients. So, 4 minus 3, 6, 5 and B is the constants on the right. So, it is a column vector or column matrix 11, 7 and x is the unknowns x 1, x 2. So, this it is easy to compute this uh, solution. It has a unique solution x 1 is 2 and x 2 is minus 1. Let us quickly go through how. So, we can uh, multiply uh, the first one by 3 to get 12 x 1 minus 9 x 2 is uh, 33. We can multiply the second one by 2 to get 12 x 1 plus 10 x 2 is 14 and then we subtract let us say the first one from the second one. So, in that case we get 19 x 2 is um, uh, so what we get. So, 14 minus 33. So, that is minus 19 so, that tells us x 2 is minus 1 and then we can substitute in one of these expressions and get that x 1 is 2, one of these equations and get that x 1 is 2. Okay. So, uh, we can easily check that this is the unique solution. Uh, so, now, let us do something slightly different and uh, reinterpret this using determinants. So, here is the same example and here is how, how we will apply Kramer's rule. So, we look at the coefficient matrix A. So, that was 6 minus 3 sorry 4 minus 3 6 and 5. Let us compute the determinant of A. So, if we do that that is 4 times 5 minus uh, negative 3 times 6. Uh, so, that is 20 plus 18 which is 38. Let us keep that value in mind. So, the determinant of A is 38. So, replace the first column of A by the column vector B and we will call that matrix A subscript x 1 because uh, the first column are the coefficients corresponding to x 1 in the two equations. So, A subscript x 1 is 11 minus 3 7 5. So, we have replaced uh, the 4 6 over here by 11 7. Okay. Replace the second column of A by the column vector B and call it x 2 A x 2. So, A subscript x 2. So, we are doing the same thing uh, for the second column. So, now the first uh, column is the same as the col first column of A and the second column is replaced by 11 7. So, we get 4 11 6 7 that is A subscript x 2. Let us calculate determinant of A x 1. So, you can do this uh, uh, this is 11 times 5 minus uh, negative 3 times 7. So, that works out to 76 uh, and then let us uh, calculate the determinant of x 2 sorry a x 2 a subscript x 2. So, if you do that that is 4 times 7 minus 11 times 6 that is minus 38. So, remember that the determinant of a was uh, calculated to be 38. So, let us keep this in mind 38, 76 and minus 38. Okay. So, now what do we do? So, Kramer's rule will uh, say let us calculate determinant of A subscript x 1 by determinant of A and uh, determinant of A subscript x 2 by determinant of A. So, let us do that. So, this is um, uh, 76 by 38 and this is uh, uh, 
minus 38 by 38 and these are exactly the solutions. So, x 1 is uh, uh, 2 Re remember that is what we got in the first slide and x 2 is minus 1 which is exactly what this is. Okay. So, at least in this example we have this strange method using determinants and it gives us the solutions that we require. Uh, that we should have got not required. Okay. So, let us uh, study what is Kramer's rule uh, in general. So, this is for when the coefficient matrix is an invertible matrix fine. So, what do we mean by invertible? Invertible means that the inverse exists. Uh, okay. So, consider the following system of linear equations of two variables. Uh, a 1 1 x 1 plus a 1 2 x 2 is b 1, a 2 1 x 1 plus a 2 2 x 2 is b 2. So, the matrix representation here is uh, a is a 1 1, a 1 2, a 2 1, a 2 2 and b is b 1 the column vector b, b 1, b 2 and the assumption here is that the matrix A is invertible meaning its inverse exists and uh, because its inverse exists uh, remember that in the uh, in the previous video with determinants, we have seen that determinant of A inverse is 1 by determinant of A, which in particular means that uh, determinant of A is non zero. Okay. So, 1 by determinant of A exists. Okay. So, let us define these two matrix matrices as in the previous example. So, we replace the first column by the vector B1, B2, and we call that new matrix A subscript x1, and we replace the second column by the column vector B uh, and we call that new matrix A subscript x 2. Okay. And then Kramer's rule says the solution of the system of equations and I am saying D which means it is a unique solution uh, in two variables. So, this is determinant of A subscript x 1 by determinant of A. Note that this division makes sense because it is invertible and x 2 is determinant of A subscript x 2 by determinant of A again makes sense and we know explicitly what these uh, expressions are uh, for 2 by 2 matrices the determinant is easy to compute. So, this is uh, the numerator over on for the first expression is uh, B 1 A 2 2 minus A 1 2 B 2 and uh, the numerator for the second expression is a 1 1 b 2 minus b 1 a 2 1 and the determinant of the matrix a is a 1 1 a 2 2 minus a 2 1 a 1 2 fine. So, that is uh, the algorithm you have to follow for Kramer's rule uh, to find the solutions of a system of equations where the um, coefficient matrix a has non zero determinant. Okay, we can make this more general. So, let us do a 3 by 3 uh, C Kramer's rule for 3 by 3 matrices. So, again here the coefficient matrix must be invertible. So, the determinant of A must be non zero because we divide by that determinant. So, here is uh, the system of linear equations in 3 variables. So, recall that its matrix representation is A x is B, where A is the coefficient matrix and B is this column vector of constants B 1, B 2, B 3. Okay. So, in that case uh, uh, what is Kramer's rule? So, we will have to define these new matrices uh, again 3 by 3 matrices. So, A subscript x 1 is where you replace the first column of A by the column vector B a subscript x 2 is where you replace the second column vector sorry the second column of a by b and a subscript x 3 is where you replace the third column vector uh, third column of uh, a by b. Okay. And uh, then how do we get the solution? So, the solution meaning again it is unique of the system of equations that we saw is 
x 1 is determinant of a subscript x 1 by determinant of a, x 2 is determinant of a subscript x 2 by determinant of a and x 3 is determinant of a subscript x 3 by determinant of a. Again very important is that um, the determinant here must be non-zero otherwise of course, we cannot divide and uh, uh, assuming that a has an inverse ensures this or explicitly we can say that determinant of a is non-zero. So, uh, how did we define these a subscript x 1, a subscript x 2, a subscript x 3. So, in the first one we the first column was replaced, in the second one the second column was replaced and in the third, third one the third column was replaced. So, these and the notations uh, should tell you which columns are replaced because x 1 means the coefficients corresponding to x 1 that is the column which is replaced. So, those were a 1 1, a 2 1 and a 3 1 uh, and similarly for x 2 and x 3. Okay, so, this is Kramer's rule for uh, 3 by 3 matrices or for a system of linear equations in 3 variables. Fine, maybe let us uh, do a quick example. Um, so, consider this system of equations um, uh, where the coefficient matrix. So, I am instead of writing down the uh, system I am writing down the coefficient matrix and the constants. So, the coefficient matrix is 1 0 3 0 2 5 4 3 1 and uh, the constants are uh, 0 2 and 1 respectively for the 3 equations. Uh, so, to use Kramer's rule first let us look at the determinant. So, the determinant of A, so we will have to compute this. So, the determinant uh, is uh, minus 37. So, I will encourage you to compute this. So, since it is non-zero, we can apply Kramer's rule. Uh, so, let us follow the next steps in the procedure for Kramer's rule. So, we have to compute these matrices A subscript x 1, A subscript x 2 and A subscript x 3. So, how do we compute uh, these matrices? We replace the corresponding columns by the um, the column B. So, here we get 0 to 1. So, B this is B and the other things remain same. Here we get uh, 0 to 1 in the second in place of the second column and here we get 0 to 1 in place of the third column. Okay, so, these are our matrices um, uh, A subscript x 1, A subscript x 2 and A subscript x 3 and then we compute their determinants. So, the determinant of A subscript x 1 is 12 you can check this. So, here we have uh, first row has 2 zeros. So, this is an easy computation. Similarly, for uh, a subscript x 2 you can check this is minus 27 and a subscript x 3 the determinant is minus 4 and then by Kramer's rule uh, we get that the solution to this system of equations is x 1 is minus 12 by 37, x 2 is 27 by 37 and x 3 is 4 by 37. Okay. So, I uh, will encourage you to um, substitute these expre these x 1, x 2, x 3 and check that indeed this is the solution and you can uh, uh, you know do a usual method of um, solving equations and check that indeed this is the solution. Okay. So, finally, let us end with uh, Kramer's rule for the n by n case. So, now if you have uh, n systems in a system of n linear equations in n unknowns. So, remember here that we should have um, uh, the coefficient matrix has to be square first of all. So, we need n equations in n unknowns yeah this would not work otherwise. And the second uh, thing we need here is that uh, the coefficient matrix is invertible uh, or that the determinant is non-zero. Okay. So, this is a general system of uh, equations A is this matrix of coefficients a i j uh, a 1 1 a 1 2 a etcetera and then b is the constant. So, column vector with b 1 b 2 b n then you define a x i that is a subscript x i this is a new n by n matrix and uh, how do we obtain this? We obtain this by for the uh, ith column you substitute the you replace it by uh, the column vector b. Okay. 
So, if you do that then you compute its determinant and then the uh, solution to the system of linear equations. Uh, so, Kramer's rule states that it is given by x i is determinant of a subscript x i by determinant of a right. So, we compute for each i. So, x 1 is determinant of a subscript x 1 by determinant of a, x 2 is determinant of a subscript x 2 by determinant of a and so on up till x n is determinant of a subscript x n by determinant of a. That is what Kramer's rule states. Uh, so, uh, in Kramer's rule remember that uh, uh, you we need this is very important n equations in n unknowns yeah that is when we can apply it and further we need that the determinant of the coefficient matrix A is non-zero okay? and then we can explicitly work out uh, what the solution is. Thank you.